Maple Grove's Fish Lake Regional Park is considered as one of the prized parks in the Three Rivers Park District system. But nine years ago, the lake found itself on the state's impaired waters list. And as Delane Cleveland reports, big things are happening this week to help improve the water quality in Fish Lake for years to come. Living on the lake, the best part of it is actually just looking at it, seeing all the animals and the birds, and then of course getting out on it and in it is a big part as well. Fish Lake in Maple Grove has plenty of attractive features, along with opportunities for fishing and recreation. Nancy Greenwood has lived on the lake for 36 years. When the kids were little, it started out with a speedboat and skiing and all of that, and now we've uh, graduated to a pontoon. But for all of the lake's positive features, there's one glaring fact that you likely won't find in any local real estate guide. When you look closely at it, and especially this spring and then later in the summer again, you just have all this green algae on the top to the point that you would not go in the water. The green algae is the result of too much phosphorus in the lake. The Phosphorus that is within the lake itself, it got here from years and years of watershed loading. Um, the, these nutrients ultimately come from the watershed. And as the years progressed, the water quality worsened. The algae need phosphorus to grow just like your lawn or corn or anything else. It's a, it's a nutrient. Now, John Holtz and his crew have been tasked with stopping the phosphorus and the subsequent algae growth. In this lake, a lot of that phosphorus is coming from the bottom sediments. So it's accumulated over time. It's built up in the mud in the bottom of the lake bed. The process involves treating the lake with a chemical called alum by launching a barge onto the lake and spreading the alum on the most affected areas. It has drop hoses that come down and the alum is ejected below the water surface. It quickly mixes with the lake water and forms the flock here that you can see this kind of whitish green substance that's just below the water surface. The chemical then covers the bottom of the lake and keeps the phosphorus from coming out of the mud. I think around 50% of the entire surface area of the lake is being treated, which is about 120 acres or so. Treating that water requires 95,000 gallons of alum. The hope is that this will help lead to better water quality. Well, we're just really excited to hopefully by next spring see an increase in the clarity in the water. Delane Cleveland, CCX News. The project cost $300,000 with much of the funding coming from the Minnesota Board of Water and Soil Resources. A second treatment of Fish Lake will occur in 2019.